I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's Layout Options Week. A more professional way to present graphics in a document is to wrap text around the image. In another word tip video, I demonstrated the position command, which does the job instantly for you. Because this is Layout Week, I'll show you the manual way. Word features four text wrapping options, square, tight, through, and top and bottom. The square and tight options both create a rectangle around the graphic. This image is currently formatted with the inline layout option. So here's the square version, and this is tight. See how the text moves just a wee bit closer to the image? The square layout is consistently a rectangle, whereas tight may wiggle into spaces inside the image, which I'll show in a moment. For most graphics, these layout options are fine, and you can switch between them la-di-da. The through option is most effective for concave or other images that have an inner part. I'll insert a shape into this text. From the Insert tab, choose Shapes. The block arc looks good. I'm going to drag inside the document to create the shape. Now the format shown here is in front of text, which I cover in another video. So click Layout Options, Through, and, and nothing. That's because to make this trick really work, you must edit the wrapping points, which is the topic of tomorrow's video. Even if I adjust the arc, which you can do by dragging this handle, it may look like the image is presented with the Through option, but when I switch it over to Tight, it looks the same. And square, by the way, keeps the image in a rectangle, and that's a big difference between square and tight. Finally, the top and bottom option works like the square option, but the text is forced above and below the graphic. This may seem similar to the inline option, where you can set an image on a line by itself, but with top and bottom, you can drag to position the graphic within a paragraph. So the top and bottom layout is more flexible than inline on a line by itself. Thank you.